What's good everybody? It's your girl Chubby and welcome back to Life of Chubby Vlogs. Hey my Chubby Blossoms, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So as y'all can tell by the title, your girl is going to do a cooking video with y'all today. Okay, and today on the menu we are making stuffed peppers. So I put out a shopping video. Where did I go? I went to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. If you didn't check out that video, then please be sure to check that video out. And in that video, I told y'all I was making stuffed peppers. I'm like, hey, y'all want to see me make my stuffed peppers? And a lot of y'all was like, yeah, Cherry, go ahead. Make those stuffed peppers. Yeah, we want the video. And somebody was even like, yeah, teach them how to cook. Er, hold on now. I didn't say I was a professional cook, okay? But your girl know how to... Milo's over here. Milo, when I cook food, how my food tastes? Is it okay. is it okay? Is it good? Is it nasty? How are we tasting? It tastes good. How does it taste? It tastes okay and good. Okay, she said it tastes okay and good, but she ain't say nasty. She ain't say nasty. But I'm gonna show y'all um how I make my stuffed peppers here. If you know how to make stuffed peppers and you make yours differently from mine, then go down in the comments and drop your recipe, and I may be trying some of y'all recipes if you know I feel like it's it's gonna taste better than what I do. So, let me just show y'all everything that we're going to be using to make the stuffed peppers. But before I do that, if you are new here, hey boo hey, my name is Cherry and welcome to my channel. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two living in New York City. And if you are interested in videos about motherhood, lifestyle, shopping, um, apparently cooking now, okay, then please hit that subscribe button and become a part of the Cherry Blossoms. Also, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and turn on your post notifications. So you know the next time I post a new video. And by the way, my list is in the living room. You know, if y'all if y'all true to this, not new to this, y'all know how my house is set up. That the living room is like literally right here next to the kitchen. So my list in the living room watching a movie, and you might hear it a little bit in the background. Also, today is Sunday, and we have just been for the most part kind of chilling out and vibing out. I've been getting a little stuff done around the house, but just relaxing in between and taking breaks that's why your girl's coming on camera like so don't judge me judge your mama boo okay but yeah let me show y'all all the ingredients that i'm going to be using to make my stuffed peppers for dinner tonight okay so here is everything i'm using i'm going to be using shredded cheese i'm not going to be using this cheese but i just put this cheese here so i can remember to tell y'all i'm going to be using cheese so we're going to be using cheese um, tomato sauce and now normally I will use Italian seasoning but I don't have any I ran out so I'm just going to use a blend of these seasonings here to achieve the taste and flavor I want so I'm going to use um, Laurie's seasoned salt garlic powder onion powder I'm going to use fresh garlic when I'm cooking my meat I'm going to use pepper and parsley and then of course for the stuffed peppers you need the peppers boo so I have six peppers here. I'm making enough so that we have leftovers. I chose orange and green. You can choose whatever color you want. That's on you. Also, I'm going to be using this Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice. I have told y'all about this rice so many times. It takes five minutes to make. Don't sleep on it. And it has a whole bunch of vegetables and good stuff in it. So I'm going to be making that. And then I have my ground turkey right here as well. So... This is all the ingredients and all that you will need to make the stuffed peppers. You can always, hold on, let me turn the camera. You can always customize and switch it up and add stuff or take something out. Um, if you want, you can add onions to yours. If you want, instead of just the ground turkey, you can add some sausages. Instead of turkey, you can use beef. You can just like customize it and make it your own. But we're going to make it like real basic tonight. And this is what we're going to be using. My oven is already um, preheating because once we cook everything and we put it inside the peppers, then we're going to throw those bad boys in the oven. So let's get right into this cooking chow. <laughs> this cooking with Chevy video.
Okay, so I just cut all my peppers, gutted them, <laughs> and I cleaned them off as y'all saw. And now I have them in a pile right here on my cutting board. I got my pan. I'm gonna put the peppers on the baking sheet and I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. And I know some people, when they make their stuffed peppers, they take um, the peppers and then they boil them and then they take and stuff them and then put them in the oven. But I like to put mine in the oven. I don't like to boil it. I feel like it's, it's less of a mess, less dishes you gotta clean up after. And I never had a problem eating it like the way that I make it. So we're gonna keep it like that. Also, I was gonna do the whole pepper and then just like gut the inside and stuff it. But then I decided to um, not do the whole pepper, to do like um, pepper halves, which is probably like a better portion size as well. So I decided to cut them like this. And because I decided to cut them in half, I had way too many peppers and I'm not making all the peppers, but this is what I have here. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna put the peppers on my cooking, my baking sheet tray, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna throw these bad boys in an oven and then I'm gonna get started on my ground turkey and my rice. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood, body giving center views. I'm just saying I'm a mute. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tat it up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know ain't proof. But you ain't even flexing, and you ain't gotta try to hard. Okay, so I just put the peppers in the oven. I have my pot here. I'm going to use a little bit of oil, and then I'm going to get started cooking my ground turkey. So let's get that going. First, actually, I'm going to put my garlic in the pan. So just not even like a full minute. You don't want to brown it. You just want to get it going. Then you add your ground turkey in the pan. So that's what I'm going to do. Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do Alright, so this is how the ground turkey is looking now it's cooked the way I want it to be cooked. So now I'm going to add in some vegetable fried rice. And actually, I think I have, uh, I do have one right here, but it's only like a little teeny tiny bit. But we're gonna use this up first before we open a new bag. So let's come. 
back over here I'm gonna add the vegetable fried rice in allow that to cook then I'll add the sauce and everything else yeah, 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 yeah. She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the morning. You see, I told y'all y'all could add extra stuff in it, but using this vegetable fried rice, you don't have to add anything extra in it. It already comes with it. Um, I think I'm going to add mm, no, nah, I don't think so. I, I yeah, I think I'm gonna add a drop more of oil. And then allow this time to cook. The peppers are in the oven. They have 30 seconds left. And my timer is going to go off. So I'm going to take those out. And Dwayne just left to go and get some cheese for me. Because um, we were out of cheese. Myla, can you turn that TV down a little bit? Where's the remote to turn it down? Myla's sitting in the living room with her baby brother. And she's watching Edward Scissorhands. She's never seen that movie. One thing about me, I'm the type of parent, like, I want to expose my kids to back in the day. I want to expose my kids to the way I grew up and how I live. Like, when we go outside, we'll play hopscotch, like, things like that. I want her to know how to play patty cake and numbers and how to jump rope and so on for it. So, yeah. She's what? Huh? Oh, I thought you were saying something to me. So, yeah, she's watching um, Edward Scissorhands, and my timer just went off for my, um... Pepper, so I'm gonna take those out the oven, but let me just show y'all how this is looking and hold up. All right, so this is how the ground turkey and the vegetables are looking. I'm gonna allow that to cook for a few minutes and then I'll come back when I'm adding the sauce and I'm gonna take my peppers out of the oven now as well. Okay, so this is how the meat and rice mixture is looking once I added in some tomato um, sauce. My peppers are still in the oven. And then, out of nowhere, me just being me, I decided that your girl's going to make some boom. So we're going to make cornbread as well. We're going to have um, roasted stuffed peppers with cornbread. So I'm actually going to um, start making the mixture to my cornbread now. Alright, so I'm going to make my cornbread. I don't have a big enough bowl to mix it in so I'm using my pot so be it okay and to make my cornbread is very very simple I don't do nothing fancy or extra I just keep it basic and it comes out really good so I get boxes of cornbread um I like the honey cornbread but regular cornbread is works just as fine I use um my silk milk you use whatever milk you drink boo I use um two eggs I use some oil not butter when cooking or you when cooking it and I use some sour cream so this is all I need to make my cornbread I'm about to slide this back so y'all can see but let me put this down rather an inch there so y'all can see better so I'm about to mix all of this stuff together and then get my cornbread going cornbread doesn't take that long to make so The timing for everything being done will work out fine. I still got my um, peppers in the oven. I will say, at first I said put it in for 15 minutes. I said 15 to 20 minutes. Um, and I have my oven on um, 375. You can put your oven temperature higher if you like. Um, it will help it cook faster. Maybe you put it on 4, 415, whatever the case may be. But um, mine was on 375 for about... Now it's been about like 25 minutes. So I'm gonna actually take them out now before I continue with this cornbread.
All right, so let me show y'all how this is looking. Here are the peppers. I did flip them in the oven once and let them roast on this side as well. You want them to start to break down, get soft, but you don't want it completely soft because once you stuff them, then you're going to um, put them back in the oven and allow them to continue cooking. So this right here, this tenderness, I guess you could call it, that um, my peppers are, is perfect for me. And yeah, so I put them in 375 for about 25 minutes. That gave me enough time to cook my, um, what I'm going to stuff it with and so on for it. I'm going to just flip these over so they're ready when I come back over here. And I have to wait for Dwayne. I told y'all he ran downstairs to get cheese. He should be back. But while I'm waiting for him and um, I can't stuff those peppers, I'm going to get back to making this cornbread. All right, so I got my two boxes. Got cornbread mix in here. Now we're gonna add the eggs. I should have saved the box so I don't be dripping eggs all over, but I'm all right with this. Let me know down in the comments below what is on your menu tonight? What are you cooking for dinner? So I just added a little milk. I'm gonna add a little oil. And then we're gonna mix it all together. I'm gonna get a big spoon and let's go. So this is the consistency, way too thick. We're gonna add a little bit more milk, a little bit more oil, and now I'm gonna add my sour cream in as well. And this should give me the perfect consistency that I like. My father's from the South. He taught me how to make cornbread. He makes his, not all the time, but he makes his with crackling in it. Y'all never had cornbread with crackling. Y'all don't know what y'all missing out on. But yeah, so this is how I learned how to make some good brown cornbread. Of course, you can add stuff in, you can take stuff out, you can choose to use butter and not oil, whatever the case may be. But yeah, this works for me. My family likes this, and this is what we stick with. Again, your girl is no professional chef, but I gotta feed my family, right? So your girl gotta figure, we got to figure something out here. All right, and I'd rather slow walk it. I know some of y'all like, you could have just measured and poured that one time, or you could have just that, 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 that. Like, nah, I slow walk it. So I just take my time and add little by little by little by little until I get to the um, consistency I want. What we, what, what, what we rushing for? What we rushing the cornbread for? <laughs> all right, so this should be the perfect consistency after I mix all of this together. Yep. Oops, and I spilled a little bit, but it's all right. All right, so this is the consistency I like my cornbread mix to be. Let me grab my pan here and let me grab my little brush right here and I'm going to use this to oil my pan to put my cornbread in. for me okay and I've heard a, a baker say this before when you bake with um, oil versus butter 
it makes your food come out like more fluffy, less dense. It, it tastes more moist. Trust me. Try some oil, boo. All right. So, put that in the sink. We're going to pour our mixture in and get this going. Looking good. Alright y'all, so I'm about to put this in the oven and clean up my mess and then I'll be back once the wane comes so I can mix in the cheese, stuff my peppers, and get those back in the oven as well. So I'll see y'all in a few. Honey child, honey child, don't be don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you are enjoying this cooking video with me. Dwayne came back with the cheese, so we have the cheese here. I turned the fire back on my rice and meat mixture. I'm going to add just a little bit more tomato sauce. Uh, I put the tomato sauce back, right? Yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more tomato sauce just to make sure that once I do put it in the oven, it doesn't dry out. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese inside the pan, um, inside the pot, and let that cook a little as well. So this is kind of just like warming back up a little bit. So when I put the cheese inside, it can melt in the sauce as well. Now my mixture is done. It has everything in it. Here are my peppers and now I'm going to start to stuff them. What I'm going to do is put a little bit of cheese down first, then add this mixture, then put a little bit of um a little bit more cheese on top and I might put some of my um tomato sauce on top of that. We'll see how it's looking when it's done. I'm pretty sure I have some of this left over, but that's fine. I could just put it in like a Tupperware container and put it in the fridge and then um, make something else out of it another day. So yeah, let's start stuffing these peppers and let's, let's get to it. Ceiling fan blowing cold breeze on your body. I can't tell you really what it is, but you got it. Make up in the morning, you got dresses in your closet. But you grab them tight, you in love with being modest. You a mood body giving center views. I'm just saying I'm amused. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tatted up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know, and But you ain't even flexing. And you ain't gotta try too hard. Number one fan, your side your plot. Got me think about inside the most. Words got deep, it's like a swat. Making me better, you hotter than pepper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You with a big stepper who chasing a cheddar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of these women, they not on your level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like a mix of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a move, body giving scene views. I'm just saying, I'm a mule. But you ain't even flexing. And you cool, tied it up, cover wounds, different vibe, you know ain't bro But you ain't even flexing 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 But you ain't even flexing
get out the way Who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even if my feelings grind don't stop Got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk Heard it's real cheap, but it's really cold house I'm trying to get these ends Building bios with my friends I'm about hell in my business No time for stress over bullshit You think success is an option I'm trying to get this shit popping like woo. Big moves My rules Heavy on the tweeting, I'll disappear a whole season like woo. Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. Wait tight on I leg for it. Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9. Eat that, I'ma make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'ma make you. Okay, these are how the stuffed peppers are looking they are looking delicious to me i'm gonna put them in an the oven now and then i will be back once everything is done and this is what i have left over i do have a pretty decent amount left over i can make um a burrito with this i could just eat this by itself we have more peppers that we can stuff and um make like kind of round two of this or whatever the case may be but i'm gonna put this in a Tupperware container and put it in the fridge and I'll be back once everything is done to show you the final product all right Blossom so I'm back this is how the stuffed peppers are looking once I took them out of the oven so yummy ooey gooey this is how my cornbread is looking once I took that out the oven and here is my plate so let me actually come put it on the counter i have a stuffed pepper here and i have a piece of cornbread and i just like sour cream on my cornbread and if you don't like it you don't put it and this is how it's looking again your girl is no chef but i promise you promise you promise you it's so good before i go your girl's gonna try some of it and let y'all know how it tastes And I love, I don't know if y'all can see this, how tender my peppers are. Let me get a little meat with it. Baby boys in the background. And look at this. Look at that cheese pull. Let's try some. It's really good. Try some of this cornbread. I like it. So you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this cooking from me. Um, if there's things that you do differently when you make your stuffed peppers, drop it down in the comments below and let me know. And I'm about to serve my family. We about to eat dinner. And Myla's about to wind down for bed and so on for it. But I appreciate y'all for watching. If you enjoy videos like this from me and you feel like I didn't do such a horrible, terrible job at cooking, then please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the family. Sorry, y'all. It's just the mouth is juicy. The mouth is juicy. But please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the family. And of course, turn on your post notifications so you know the next time I post a new video. I love y'all for watching. Your girl's about to your girl's about to get into it. Bon appetit. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, Blossoms. So we got the real food critic here, Myla. Myla's gonna taste some of her cornbread and let us know how it tastes. Go ahead. I'm gonna she's going to rate it one to ten. One is trash. Ten. Mmm, your mother got it going on in the kitchen. <laughs> So what do you think? 10, you really like the cornbread? Yes? Okay. Now, try your stuffed pepper. You could just like, yeah. Just stick your fork inside and scoop some out. Yeah, I have to cut the pepper for you. There you go. Make sure it's not too hot. And I'm gonna cut a piece of pepper for you so you can taste it with the pepper. Hey, you like it? It's yummy for you? Uh -huh. A 10? Oh, we got two 10s. You want me to cut the pepper? You taste a little bit of the pepper? Okay. What? 
Okay, I made a little piece for Milo with the pepper on it and everything. She's about to taste it with the pepper. I've never had pepper before. Girl, give it a try. It's not nasty. It's actually very, very yummy. With all that sour cream on your mouth. So what would you rate it? Tell the truth. The peppers. Let me get you a napkin. Because you got sour cream all over. Look at this. Look at this. She had a drip drop of sour cream. And then got it all over. Okay. So what do you rate the peppers? An uh, eight. An uh, eight? Okay. So the peppers is eight. The filling is a ten. And the cornbread is a ten. Hey. In my house, that's a win-win. That's a win-win. But yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching. We'll see y'all in our next video.